Hi there, it's Lucy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own nest box. So before we get started, let's have a think about why it's important for us to be making these nest boxes. Over the years, our gardens and green spaces have got neater and tidier, and that's bad news for wildlife. There are fewer natural nooks and crannies for birds to nest in. Renovations and modern new builds also provide fewer nesting opportunities. So, building nest boxes for birds helps to provide a much needed resource for our garden birds. We will provide everything that you need to make your nest box, but these are the different components. Okay, so first up is attaching our sides to our backboard. There'll be a pen line on the backboard and you're lining up your side to that pen line. And the really important thing to remember here is that our sides need to be angling down when we attach them. Okay, so our side is on and you can see how it's angling down. So we just need to go and get the other side on now. And another thing to remember is, can you see how I've nailed it so it's really close against the edge there, so it's nice and flush. So now we need to attach the base. A handy tip here is to turn the box over and use the box itself to hammer against. There may not be pilot holes on the base, so ensure that your nail will go through both the baseboard and your sides. You might need to give this bit some extra welly. Okay, so next up is our front piece and you're after the hole to be at the top and again it's really important for this piece to be angled down like that. Four nails should do the trick for this bit. Okay, so now we need to get our roof on and again it's really important to look at the angles here. So take a look at the roof piece and you will notice that there is a straight edge and there is another edge that has got an angle to it. It's this angled end which is going up against your baseboard, okay? And this time we want the angle to be going up, okay? So like that. Let me show you close up what I mean with the roof. So I've got it on there with the angle in the correct position. So the angle this time is pointing up there. And can you see how it's nice and snug against the baseboard? If I was to turn it the other way round and have the wrong side, which is the flat end, up against it, although subtle, can you see how it doesn't quite fit the baseboard there and there is like a little cheese-shaped wedge there. Um, whilst we want some gaps in our box so that the chicks can breathe, um, that's too much of a gap and we especially don't want one on our roof piece. So the way that we're going to attach the roof is by using the piece of material to act as a hinge. Okay, so now you want to attach the piece of material that we're using for the hinge, which is this bit here, and I've already attached it to the roof. I find that easier before um, I attach it to the box. A handy tip for you is that you might find it helpful to use a bigger nail to pierce um, both the hinge and the wood before you start trying to put your tacks in um, and the reason for that is that these tacks are a lot smaller and a little bit more fiddly so you might want to pierce it first all along there with a larger nail before putting in your tack um, four or six tacks is great for this bit Okay, so we're almost there now. We've got our roof on and we've used that bit of material to act as our hinge there. But we just need to do a couple of things now to help keep our chicks safe inside and to reduce the chance of predators getting in. Hammer in two nails halfway in either side of the box. Make sure to do this on the strongest part. Then wrap wire around to secure. Okay, so now we've got our wire on, you can see it's much harder to lift that lid up and down so our chicks will be nice and safe inside. 
Okay, now we've made our nest boxes, we need to have a think about where is best to put them. Place your nest box at least three meters from the ground. Put them in a northerly or easterly position as this will protect your residence from the wind and the rain. Reduce the chance of predators being able to get in, such as cats, and place somewhere they won't be able to access easily. Don't crowd your new residence. Give them plenty of space away from bird feeders and other nest boxes. This will help to reduce aggressive behavior between parents. Some foliage surrounding your nest box can be beneficial, but make sure the birds still have a direct flight path and don't completely cover the entrance. So all that's left to do now is to wait to see who visits your nest box. Okay, that's all from me. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you another time. Bye.